Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Satoshi Sean, glad you're here. I am going to be doing a review today of a uh, multi-crypto wallet um, that is syncable with a desktop app as well as a phone app. Um, I'll go over that in a second, but first, if it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Um, me and my buddy over at Kiss Crypto, we do uh, the crypto lunchtime or crypto lunch break. Um, daily during the week just go over news and we're goofy and entertaining we also give away crypto every day uh, also we do a big giveaway at the end of the week when we do our weekend uh our weekend um show but uh whether you're a new subscriber or old subscriber please hit this uh, or uh crush the like button really really helps me out um with that let's jump into the review i'm going to look at owner wallet which they asked me to take a look at it and do kind of a deep dive. There's not a lot of, I mean, there's it, it's a cool wallet. I like it. I'm going to go over all the things that I like and the key features, but it's pretty simple and pretty easy to use. Um, I actually did a setup and I recorded that, so I'm going to put that in here. Um, basically, it's a, it's a Bitcoin wallet uh, for any platform, and it's any platform. Um but it's a multi multi coin wallet. Uh, they have eleven. Well, they say eleven coins. It's really twelve. Um, and in actuality, you can put on all your ERC twenty. So it's it's a ton. Uh, they do have an iOS and Android app, as well as Windows, Linux, uh, everything. If you go down here, it's a clean looking app. I think a lot of the stuff is set for the phone app, um, but the desktop version is pretty cool. You can see here the down the uh, desktop downloads that you're covered on everything. Uh, it was really quick to download, really easy, and the uh, mobile apps just look in your in your store on your device. Um, like I said, it's a multifunctional wallet, um, multi crypto wallet. It has uh, something I'll go over, but you can uh, you can have you don't have to add the ERC twenties. Um, because of a cool feature in it, which I'll go over. But uh, on a wallet, there's also a full EOS management. You have to put in your uh, your private key for that. Um, you own your crypto with this. You own the private keys. They do not uh, own your private keys or own your crypto. Um, before I go into it, I'll play the, uh, the quick uh, setup that I did. So I'll put that on now. This is the third time I'm doing this video um, with this setup. It's not because this is difficult. The most difficult thing about this has been my audio settings. So for the third time, I think I have it uh, set now. Um, this is the desktop application, which I downloaded from the website I showed you. Um, it took about five to seven seconds for it to download. Um, only took about two seconds, uh, two or three to, uh, to install. So I clicked to open it. When you open it, you'll get this. You would click Create New Wallet. Um, now, just one thing I want to go over before you do that is that this has, like I went over, a desktop version and a phone or a, an app version for uh, iOS or Android. Um, one of the things I really like about it is that you can sync those two up so you can use them in tandem or use them together uh, at the same time, which I'll go over why that's... Uh, an asset here in a minute but the reason I bring that up is because when you create this wallet if you're creating your desktop version first then you would do it um, like I like I'm saying to do it um, if you do the phone application the phone app first then you would restore here and you would use your seed phrase to restore the wallet on your desktop that way you have the same wallet on both devices so they would sync up um, <clears throat> and you could use the same wallet on both but since we're doing this one first, we're going to create wallet. Now, this is your recovery phrase, which uh, one thing I really like is that you can pick the strength of your recovery phrase, whether it's 12, 15, 18, 21, or 24 words. Since, obviously, this is the third time I'm doing this, this is just a demo that I'm going to do. So, um, you take, you would copy these down and, and write them down or try to remember them. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to paste them onto a, uh, a notepad here and then you have to prove that you did that by uh, putting your recovery phrase in here in order so we got uh, confirm 
Where's urge? Oh, no monitors. I have three, three of these phrases here now. Uh, patrol. Print. Explain great safe. Uh, bundle quick wrestle. And then robot stake. So, then you click here. Boom. Here's where you set your password up. And boom, we're done. Now this brings up the wallet. And then here you just choose uh, different coins to pick from to add to your wallet right away. Um, <clears throat> one thing I'll tell you about right here. These are both Bitcoin. They're both the same Bitcoin. The original Bitcoin BTC. The OmniLayer and the regular Bitcoin are two like different uh, different addresses, different different numbers uh, or address that look like addresses that go to the same actual wallet. Um, it just depends if you're using an older one or a newer one. So click both of them. That way you can send and receive uh, both of them. If somebody wants to send you one from an OmniLayer from an old uh, or a Bitcoin wallet, they can. It'll all go to your same wallet. Uh, dash. Doogie. Uh, ETH, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin. Now, if you want to put a EOS in there, you have to put in your private key, so we're not going to do that. Because that's kind of a pain in the butt to do right now. Boom, next. And it loads all of our coins up. Um, super simple. Like, we got it. We're on Doge. If you want to receive, there's your wallet. Now, I talked about uh, how this is easier if you have a wallet that is on the desktop and on your phone app because of these QR codes. Now, if I'm using my crypto, paying for something, paying a bill, buying something online, um, and it brings up a QR code, if I'm on my desktop wallet, I can't scan the QR code on my desktop from a, uh, a website. But if I'm on that website shopping or, or going to send someone some money, I can put my phone up with my... Uh, my app wallet or my phone wallet and just use the camera scan the qr code and since the wallets are linked up boom it's done so that's one cool thing about having a phone wallet and the uh and the desktop wallet um but if you want to buy boom all you do is click on that or you can go to the buy crypto and it comes down here you can use the uh the spa which went over on the uh in the review um super super simple so there's a little tutorial video in the in the wallet. All the uh, social social media links are there. Very very cool. Um, boom! Back to all your crypto. The settings are super simple. There's lots of uh, lots of fiat currencies for you. Whatever um, country or uh, fiat currency you're using, you can hide zero transactions, um, which helps if you don't want to keep going back and adding coins. You just add them all and then hide zero. Zero, uh, zero balances or zero, zero amount of transactions. That way you don't see them. Um, delete the wallet, which I've done now two or three times. Also, if you forget or misplace your seed phrase, you can click here to show it and then uh, write it down again. So you have that saved. All in all, pretty simple. Uh, another thing I like is this little speech bubble. It's right inside of the desktop wallet. You just click it. You can contact them. Uh, it has an FAQ right there. In the wallet, in the corner, boom, you just click on it. All in all, pretty simple, uh, pretty solid. Easy to use, easy to set up, as you saw. Just, it took, like, seconds to set up. Um, and I like how you have the, uh, the app and the desktop that you can integrate together. So let's head back to the review. Okay, so you can see how easy it was to set up the, uh, the desktop version. And it's clean, easy to use. Um, now you saw at the beginning where I added all my coins there. You don't have to do that, but it's, it's simple to just add it so you can see them all. Okay. Um, and let's just uh, go over some of the, some advantages. It's their, uh, it's kind of their new stuff. Um, they are a licensed wallet. They're licensed with, a uh, what is it? A FinCEN. FinCEN's, FinCEN's the U.S. Yes, U.S. says U.S. Treasury. There's FinCEN and then there's Fin, whatever, it's Canadian. But they're registered in the United States uh, with FinCEN. Um, what else? 
This is the promo. There's one more. Yeah, they have a collaboration with Bifinex where you can actually buy uh, their USDT with a credit card uh, because of the partnership. Pretty cool. Um, these are the coins you can add right away. Now, I'll go over some of the features that make it cool. One, you can buy and sell with uh, SEPA, which that's a, I think you have to contact them and it's kind of a business oriented thing. You can buy crypto with Fiat, they're licensed. The price widget is cool, that's with the phone app. They don't have your private keys, which I said, you can restore the wallet, which I went over in the setup. Um, so you, res you just restore from the phone if you're setting up the desktop first or if to, to you just restore on the phone app if you set up the desktop first so you have their wallet synced. Now the auto discovery is what I was kind of touching on with you don't have to add coins or add all those ERC20s, which you know it's kind of a pain in the butt to do. The auto discovery automatically adds a crypto, like you have the wallet already issued to your wallet, um, the address. So if you have a wallet or if you have that crypto come in, automatically adds it and it's continuously working. So if anyone sends money to a, to your uh, to your address there, to your ERC20 address, it'll automatically add that other ERC20, which is cool. Um, force address allocation, the segment, which means it's cheaper. Uh, the balance updates just means like on your app, you can get updated to when you know when something's coming in. Once again, buy crypto, download the wallet. Download the wallet it was super, super easy. Um, you can pay with Visa, Union Pay, or SEPA. Um, I'm thinking that I'm missing something because, like I said, it is, it, it's, I mean, it's easy to use. There was a ton of features. It was very, very simple. Um, yeah, that's about it. There's links to all their uh, social media. Uh, check those out um, as well as the, uh, the articles. Uh, what's the force? Oh, that is something I wanted to go over. The, the forced address allocation. Um, one thing that I don't like about these multi wallets is that once you have that, that address, you're stuck. Um, so if you ever use it, that's it. It's trackable back to you. The forced address allocation is you can change your wallet address receiving um, whenever you want to. And if even if you have that ability, you usually can't change that address until after you've received um, a transaction that you're waiting for. This, you can do at any time. You can change your, your receiving wallet address um, and it doesn't mess up the works. That is, uh, that's about it. Like I said, I wanted, I mean, I wanted to go in depth and tell you everything, but there's, it's very simple. It's, uh, I like the wallet. Uh, everything worked well. It was clean, super easy to use. The exchange they have is built into the, uh, to the app. So if you wanted to exchange your crypto one for the other, uh, you can do that within the app and it, uh, it does it right there. If you wanted to, you know, buy uh, ETH with your Bitcoin or buy Bitcoin with your ETH, whatever, you can do it right there. In the app, uh, just right here, you see underneath it, exchange. Uh, I'm going to pull up my wallet real quick. Yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments below. Uh, or head over to their uh, social media outlets and check them out. You guys take care. That was Owner Wallet. I am Satoshi Jean, and I will see you in the next video.